I've enjoyed you all this morning. The tears in my eyes sitting there trying to hold back and from listening to you all, I really, really, really enjoy you. Darian, why are you up? Take that. I hit that condition up. Take it up about 72. When you all cool from me, you all look like you're cool. Take it up to about 72. But we thank God for you. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't even know it if you were, did you? Listen, we thank God for you. We bless God for you. Presence this day. We're going to give it together this day. This is, I hate to even bring this down to a close tomorrow on the Feast of Pentecost. I've enjoyed you. You know, when we started this, this series, all we've been talking, I don't know how many messages, a lesson we done did, I, probably at least 10 or more. But when we started this off, we started to talking about, well, it had to be more than that, because we've been meeting every Sabbath. And we've been seven Sabbaths, and we had to add one. And then we've been on Friday nights every week. But when we started this off, Saints, I started to talking about the evil angels, the evil spirits, and the evil ghosts. You remember starting off with that? Now we're going to end it just before we, as we get ready to go into Pentecost tomorrow, we're going to end this, this session of this with the good angels, the holy angels, the holy ghost, the ministering spirit, the servant spirit, yeah. and just show you who they are and what they come from. Show you their job, sir. If the evil spirits have a job, yeah. thank God that the holy spirits have one also. And we just we just praise him once again. I've enjoyed this journey with you all with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Truly, it's been a blessing. We're going to start this now on your program, but with Matthew chapter 18. And you all have your printed, printed outline of the program. We're going to run through this with the angels saying, this is the Spirit of God. And all these different forms, what we've talked about. Now this is the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Remember Matthew 25 said, when he comes, he's going to have all of the holy angels with him. And somebody have got to give me my crown. I'm waiting on it. Paul said, I have not. I feel like him. Not that I've attained already. I am already perfect. I'm going to press on though because I'm waiting for when he comes. He has my reward with me. Paul said, Behold, he comes quickly. And he has his reward with him. John said that in Revelation. To give to the saints. We bless him. Let's start this in Matthew chapter. It's not on your program, but Matthew chapter 18, I want to look at. And verse 10. I want to show you once again uh, the job of the angels who are nothing but Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. minister spirit, servant spirit. We're going to touch on a few scriptures that we had touched on before in this thing. Uh, so, kind of go with me. The one that we get these one of the first two in Hebrews here, we're going to brush over them quickly. But in Matthew chapter uh, 18, he's going to read verse 10. I want you to remember this. Regardless of whatever it is that you're confronted with, as long as you know that you have these guys with you at all times, and then when you know their job, bring it back just a little bit, Mark. When you know their job, it's, it's the, uh, yeah, that last one. That's what I want. Uh, when you when you know their job mm. and know what they have been commissioned by God to do, Glory. and know that they're gonna do it, same. You don't have anything to worry about. You can fulfill the help, fulfill that scripture. No weapon that's formed. No weapon. That can't happen. Let's get into this. I told you I'm not going to hold you long today. Let's go. Right? You said that last night too. Let's go. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do all They're what, Cedric? Their angels. Their angel in heaven. Don't despise. Don't mess with the little one. So Squidward was telling me the other day, it is impossible, according to Luke chapter 3, that uh, 17, that offenses will come. People will do you wrong. People will talk about you. But the Bible said, but woe to the individual to whom caused the offense. Or the one who, why is that judgment or that damnation? That's what woe means. Why is it going to call and who's going to bring it? 
Read that again. I'm gonna, she's going to show you where this angel is at. I'm going to show you that they are the only one that us seeing and be seeing. They're going up and coming down. Going up and coming down to help. Getting them report to come back down to do what Sister Duncan said they would do in Psalm 8. Read that again. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For they are always in the face of of God the Father, the Almighty God, yes, on my behalf. Hallelujah. Always, sir. Always. You have to know that, sir. They always. They need to miss the spirit. Now, look at this. We'll pick it up at our program. Hebrews chapter 1. And we're going to get right to the point on this just to skip a Bible a little bit. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Just to show you who these guys are as we get into this again. You've heard this throughout this message, but I want to start with it. Uh, again, Hebrews chapter 1, he's going to start reading at verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, and let all the angels of God worship him. Now when he brought in Christ, he said that all of the angels of God worship him. Yeah. Now verse 7 yeah. said, he's going to tell you, he's going to describe who his angels are. Verse 7 said, And of the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirits. Who maketh his angels what? Spirits. They are spirits. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that they are holy spirits. They are ministering spirits. Servant spirits. He maketh his angels spirit. Read. And his ministers a flame of fire. They are ministers, saints. They are ministering spirits. I'm going to show you this in Psalm 103 and 104. We haven't looked at this one, but I'm going to show you that. Scroll on down to verse 14 and read verse 14. But to which of the angels said he at any time? Verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? Are they not all what said it? Ministering spirits. Ministering spirits. Holy spirit. Holy angels. Yeah. All of them are. That's on God's side. Uh, uh, within, within that uh, sin. Within, on God's side. I said that way. Read that. Send forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. We are the heirs of salvation. Yeah. Remember what it said. Let's run on over to Psalm 103. Remember what it said there. Each one of you have, because you're children, son and daughter of the Most High, you have your own personal angel. Hallelujah. And thank God, not just that one, you have other ones that aid and around you at all times. Yeah. I heard Ada Ella Tate, I heard uh, 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 Lady Jones of a minute, you know, just talking about the same visitation that the guy in Acts on chapter 2 heard that yeah. when they come in, they were describing yeah. I saw it and I heard it from myself. Thank you, I know it's true. It used to amaze me. Sometimes I sat down on the couch yesterday and I just went to just laughing and crying all at the same time. They come in there and visit me and show me some stuff in the Word that I had been looking at and going back. Lord, I told him, I said, y'all hear something. Yes, yes, something. Yes, yes, That's why I couldn't wait to get here and to show you yesterday. Yes, <laughs> That's something. Yes, I sat there laughing and crying all at the same time. Yes, I had to get up. Yes, <laughs> I had to get up and just leave it alone. Yes, I like one of the writers said, such things are too wonderful for me. Yes, it's too high. I couldn't even contain it. I couldn't, I couldn't even hold it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. If you had never had that visitation from me, just know you had it. Hallelujah. But just know who they are. And I'm going to tell you, and they took time out to come in the little tiny house that I have to be with little, little, how you say Let's do this. Psalm 103. He's going to start reading at verse 20. He just talked about all their all ministry spirits, service spirits. Uh, he make them all those things because they will they will come to minister to us who are or shall be the heir of salvation. Read that. 103, verse 20. 
Bless the Lord, ye his angels. Bless the Lord, ye his who? Angels. His angels. What are they? That excel in his strength. They got the power to do whatever you hey. need to do. And I was just, I ain't gonna dwell in it. But if I need the Red Sea party, hey. you know, I need Jerry's daughter hey. life back hey. in her. Hey. If I need to get up married after he's been dead for all of those days, Hallelujah. it don't make no difference. Yes. You name it, they excel in strength. Yeah. Really. That do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. They said, he told them 25, that they're always going up to heaven. Say, yeah. waiting to hear what you've been praying and asking the God for. Yeah. And then they come back down and execute those things in here. Whatever he come in, read. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts. You ministers of you his. You want to be a sinner? You ministers you of minister. his. Ain't it the same thing that he called them in uh, Hebrews? One there, minister spirit, serving spirit. Read. That do his pleasure. They do God's pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. See, the angels are doing this, and they perfected it. Now, when we get there, I, I look forward to join with them. Those guys, at any given time, they just might fall down, fall down in the wish one makes a position right quick. The angels, at any given time, they'll fall down right in the throne, and then they'll go to sing in holy, holy, holy. They sing that song. They sing those things. They don't have a problem with staying down before and worshiping and doing the thing. You know, it's only man that have transgressed and got away from the yes. word of God. Yes. The angels, they, they don't mind saints. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Got this thing <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Lord, Lord God Almighty. Praise thou you. art worthy to receive. Yes. Praise yes. And then we call what I'm saying. That his mercy endures forever. What if man, somebody said this, Sister Nita said, what if man would come back and begin to do those things? Come on, son. Hallelujah. They're doing that. Psalm 104, let's look at it in verse 4. Psalm 104, verse 4. Read that. Who maketh his angels spirits. Who maketh his angels what? Spirits. They're spirits. You want what else on it? His ministers are flame of fire. Flame of fire. It's always dictated. That's why it said that offering that was offered by fire. That was dictated yes, yes. by the Spirit of God. You, that young man that come in and served this morning, never saw it, don't know it. The Spirit of God yes. had to do things like yes. that. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And we do continue to speak blessings. Over his life. Yeah. Let's look at this. Let's run these angels down. I want to show you once again. We talk about the evil ones. We know their job. We even mentioned those rosters last night. Yeah. Mm. Now, like I said, now we have even, we don't look like it, and we don't act like it, neither do we act inside. But we have power over them. Mm -hmm. yes. With our words. Thank and you. They call them the spirit and the word that within yeah. us. We have power over it. Yeah. The church don't act like it always, Keisha, but we have power yeah. over them. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the guy, they went back and they were rejoicing and laughing. Yeah. Send them to the side. Even the demons are sucking to us. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> after, after, yeah. I, I want to say it this way, I've used it many ways, but after the name hey. of Jesus, yeah. the name even the demons are sucking to us. Yeah. Yes, yes. Where, where, where is that at? Why is that at going this time with this uh, virus thing going yeah. right. on? Where, they, where is that power? Where is that going? Did it leave the church? No. Have it have it kebab been declared over the other day? You might ought to wake up and just look around. Something is going on. And I hope Ichabod had been declared. The word Ichabod means that the glory of the anointing of the Lord has departed. Yeah. Jesus. That's pretty well. We better call a prayer meeting. Let's finish those sentences. Read that again. We're going to go over to Revelation. Who maketh his angels spirits. His ministers are flame of 
fire. I deal with these angels. I just deal with these spirit, uh, things, uh, spirit. Now, when you got that program, I got verse 2 in there, and Revelation broke all the way down. Uh -huh. So just kind of glance over it, glance at it, and I'm going to get it, and, and, and you all go back and look at it uh, in your own time. Revelation chapter 1, and he's going to read verse 9. We're going to show you what John was out there on the aisle that was called Patmos. What he was out there for. I don't want to know. I'm going to show you what you better be here for today. Amen. Don't come just be amen there. Don't come just because we had turkey and chicken salad. And you know, uh, Barry made that key. Don't come just because of that. I don't care. <laughs> Paul said, if you want to eat and, and, and get drunk, do it at home. Don't you have houses to do that kind of stuff in? Let's go. Remember that shit. Y'all leave me alone. I got to <laughs> We're going to do that today. I said we're going to get through this and, and be finished at one. Let me see chapter one. I, I do want to get into this because I got to get into this chapter seven. I want to show you these things. Revelation chapter 1, he's going to read verse 9 now. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of uh, Jesus back, Christ. Go back. Yeah, man, go back to verse 1, I'm sorry. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Now, things to show unto who, sir? His servants. Are we the servants of God? Yes. Now, yes. God said the same thing that he showed it to John. When we read it, we're supposed to see the same thing. Yes. And we are the servant. He didn't say servant, not John. You see that word servant and have a next on it, right? Uh -huh. All of us supposed to get this thing, Benjamin. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. What did he show us? Read there. Things to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Now, how did he do that? And he sent and signified and he sent and signified it by his angel unto how did his he servant do it? John. How did by he his do it? angel. He did it how? By, by his hey, angel. And I'm gonna show you something. That when the Holy Spirit came in Acts chapter 1 in a few minutes, y'all remember this. Everything that was said and signified by the hand of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Angel. Hallelujah. Everything. Everything. Thank you, Father. Read that again. He said it. To show him unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Everything come by way of the hand of the angel. That's why God said it expedient that I go away. Hallelujah. Uh, if I don't go. Hallelujah. They won't come and Brother Mark won't be as smart as what he is in the what word of God. Well, I'm talking a little bit about the self to what he did for me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Verse 9. I he said he signified it by an angel. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God. What was that, John, that first said it? For the word of God. Simply that for the word of God. Hallelujah. Read verse 3. I was in the spirit of the Lord's what? day. I was in what? Spirit. In the spirit. Yeah. I was in the spirit. Meaning saying that one of those angels came down and dwelt with him. Uh, so just like what he said in one. Verse 1. An angel came and signified a talk, a spoke these things oh, to him. I'm going to show you once I say it again. The same you, one that you didn't hear it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God is saying, today, yesterday, yeah, and they're going to be there forevermore. He had to change. He will not have time. He did it. What verse are you at? In the 10. That's good enough. Let's go on into chapter 2. Okay. Now, I want to show you this. Pay close. We're going to just do, dwell with two different parts out of this thing here. Now, I got that stuff right there. The angel is the one that's writing to the church. Now, if you have it here, hear what the Spirit is saying. Hallelujah. Keep that in mind. Thank you. You got to know who or what the Spirit is. The angel is the one that's writing to you. Thank you, Father. And if you have it here, Hear what the Spirit is saying. Because in the scripture says, the things that 
let you hear my voice. Don't harden your heart like the other people did. They did not get to enter in too. Now that still remains that they are red for. Yeah. But if you can enter in and go ahead and qualify to be in the first resurrection now, why would you want to run all the way in this thing again? Thank you, Father. You shouldn't have to do that. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Read that. Revelation 2 and verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus wrote, right. Who write this sentence? The angel. The angel of the church of Ephesus. Is writing unto the church. I'm going to show you about the evangelist things. When they, they're called stars, uh -huh. they're still the angels. Uh -huh. These are the seven spirits or the seven eyes that God. I'm going to show you that. And, and, and the Ezekiel talk about this. Read that. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. The seven stars are angels, read. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. The candlesticks are the churches. We went over this. He walks in the midst of the church. Yeah. The angels do. Yeah. Read. I know thy words. I know that word. No, no, skip down. The book what is. Verse 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto if the church. If he has an ear, please hear what the angel or and the spirit is saying. Yeah, I ain't Everybody don't have that ear to hear. Yeah. I said it again. Everybody, Everybody do not have the ear to yeah. hear. Yeah. Everybody want to listen. Yeah. Read that. To him that overcometh will I give to be. He that hath the ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. Which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now listen, Saint. Adam and Eve were put out of the paradise in the midst of the garden. Remember that? Yeah. You remember what was down and dry to, to uh, God the tree of life? Hey. Those angels right there. Hallelujah. Now, God said, if you listen to what the, the, the angel or the spirit is saying, he will grant you to go back and eat of that tree. Thank you, Father. Now, all we have to do when we eat of that tree at that time, no more die. Yeah, thank you, No more sign. John said it in Revelation, and I just said it in no more cry. Behold, all of the former things will pass away. See, we're qualifying for something that the most of the world in the church know nothing whatsoever. Thank you, Thank you, We're trying to get back to the garden. To eat of the tree. Thank you, Father. All you got to do is listen to the angel, listen to the spirit, listen to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's verse 7. Let's look at it in verse, uh, verse 11. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. He that has an ear. Did he tell you this again? He that had an ear. What's going to happen? He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now listen at this, sir. He that overcome it uh -huh. shall not be hurt of the second death. Thank what you. is the second death? Look on my paper there. Can you see that? Can somebody tell me what I have written down there? All right. Number two. Oh, yeah. Written in red. The last sentence written in red. Yes, no, look at it. No, the, no, the second death. Okay. He said you won't be hurt by the second death. Uh -huh. The second death is yes, death. Like, what so many people in the church call hell. Jesus. Hell is much, I mean, the lake of fire is much, much, much worse than hell. Yes. Hell is just a temporary holy place for the dead. That's why John said in Revelation, their envy of both are going to be cast into the lake, lake, lake of fire. fire. Hallelujah. Listening to the Spirit. Listening to the Spirit. If you want to call it the Holy Ghost, the Holy Angel, the Middle Spirit. It would keep you from escaping this place. Yes. Mm -hmm. It would keep you from escaping that place. What verse is it? What way? Verse 20 of saying? And to the angel of the church in Pergamos. Uh -huh. right. Now we got another angel talking. Skip down to verse 17. 
He that had the ear, let him hear what the Spirit yeah, said. Unto anybody the church. want to hear? Let him hear what who said? said what the Spirit yeah. said. What did the Spirit say? Come on. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden man, and I will give him a white stone. What kind of man is that? A hidden man. You know they have this same thing, Sister Shalita, that you complained about when y'all had you in the wilderness before yeah. that. I fed you with manna from my own life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Ella said a minute ago in her sermon <laughs> that Israel have always turned their back on God. How is it that you complain about the provisions of God? She said that the only reason why you do that. You look and see what the world has. You weren't you used to pork chops and this and that and all of those things. You got that stuff in Egypt. Amen. You got that stuff when you came here. Uh -huh. You didn't know anything about the God of Easter, the God of Christmas. God Amen. said you didn't know anything about those things. Amen. And now you're so foolish and act like you can't do without it. Spend more money into all of this foolish stuff, man. To God, and it's, 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 it's an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're going to get out of the state something. Yeah. This is why the church is scared now. Yes, it is. This is why they're scared now. Yeah. And I, I pray for them. I feel sorry for them. Yeah. And it's not, I'm not boasting in what we're doing. Yeah. Help us out. Let's read. What verse are you in, man? These things, if, you, if you're filled with the Spirit, this is what the Spirit will lead you. Yes. This is the angel. This is the one that teaches. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. This is the same covenant that John talked about in John 14, 15, and 16, yes. and 17. The same one, saying. Yes, Lord. God hadn't did anything different. Mm. I'm going to show you that. What, I'm going to show you your blessed preacher, Paul. The apostle himself showed you that it was the same one that did yes. it with from when Moses and he's doing it all the way to now. Amen. What verse are you in? Middle of 17. Read that. He to him that overcometh. Yeah, skip on down to verse 18. Skip down to verse 18. No, no, no. Don't no, start that over. We got to get that. Because we're going to get a new name, Hallelujah. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto uh -huh. the churches. Mm -hmm. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and I will Come on. and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, save it he that receiveth it. Ain't nobody gonna know his sons. Yes, no. There's gonna be some, my friend, they're gonna say, and you can you say the Bible study group and remember you made a play now. But there's gonna be a song that's gonna be saved yeah. that don't nobody know but the same Of God. You, you confused now. Some of us don't know what to call them. Jesus, Yahshua, y'all. I see people praying. You go through so many different names when they pray, they don't know what to do. You better get away from this food that you done saw on TV and all this stuff. And whatever he is to you, whatever. Yeah, don't try to call him what everybody else is calling him. Uh -huh. yes, yes, amen. Yeah, as Brother Divine was saying, God, if we don't need teaching and need teaching bad, I don't know who do. I see people pray, and all through that prayer, they don't know what they call it. From Jesus to Yahshua, and all kinds. It ain't nothing wrong with you in the time that you want to use, as long as you know what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with it, as long as you know what you want. It's okay to drive, as long as you know how to drive. You got that? You wait your time here. <laughs> if you can do it, do it. But if you can't do it yet, come on into the country and practice. Don't be on that side of the practice. Too many cars out there. All right, let's look at this. Verse 18. And unto the angel of the church at Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, which hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are fine, are like fine birds. Verse 29. The angel still talking. Verse 29. He that had the ear, he didn't have an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. Revelation chapter three, verse one. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write: These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God. Now these are the seven spirits of the seven arms of God. 
They go about all over the whole world. Now look at this. I read that. And the seven stars, I know thy words. How, how do he know? How do he know? They are the one that we looked at in Ezekiel. They got eyes all over their head. And they go one direction. They don't have to back up and look at that my way over in that car kissing that girl. They don't have to do that. Yes. 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 Yes.
go back to the Turner house and we'll be just as bad. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Let's go, man. Come on. We got to defend this. Hallelujah. I got to get down to the point. Revelation, you read verse 22. Thank you. 22. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the ear. churches. Listen to what the Spirit is saying. Yes, Lord. Let's run over to Revelation 22 and cap this thing. And uh, now the Spirit is going to talk all the way through, saying, We started in chapter 1, we're going up to chapter 3, and we're going to have to deal this for time's sake in 22 uh, and verse 6. Revelation 22 and verse 6. Uh, we got to see who these spirits and, and who these names and the different ones are, which we already know. We, uh, we talked about them in Hebrew, more than Psalm 103, 106, and we looked at them in Matthew uh, 18 there. Let's look at that. Uh, Revelation 22 and verse 6. Read that. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets said he sent his angel to show the, unto the, his servants. Who, who sent his angel to say? The Lord God. The Lord God. Yeah. He was the one that sent his angel. Yeah. His Holy Spirit. Who did he send him to? Sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly now, ain't be done. The, ain't that the exact same thing that he read in chapter 1, verse 1? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't read that. You ready for the food to be on there? Uh, no, no, I got a long way to go. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, read that again. He sent his angels to do what? And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. He did the same thing we did in uh, chapter 1, verse 1. He sent these things to his servant. Who are we? Verse 7 says, Behold, I come quickly. I'm coming quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy Blessed of this he. book. Happy is he. Empowered is he. Skip down to verse 12. He's going to tell you again what he's going to talk about. Verse 12 said, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, <clears throat> to give every man according as his word shall be. I got something, Benjamin, when we talk about this. I got a reward. To give to every man according to his word. Who is the guy that said this thing? I am Alpha. I am who? Alpha, 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 Alpha and, Omega. and Omega. Now, I'm going to show you this in just a few minutes. Who he was. I'm going to read to you in a minute that no man has seen God at any time. Who is this Alpha and Omega? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Who is this great I am? Who is this Moses? Who is this I am that I am? When Pharaoh asked me, who are you? I'm going to show you that. Uh, we skip on now but verse 22. To verse 16. 16, I'm sorry. I'm going to read that on verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate. So if the you city. want to enter into the city and the gate, you got to keep his commandments. Read on. Yeah. Uh, no, 16. 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify. Jesus to you. sent his what? Sent it? His, his angel. angel. He sent his what? Angel. One more time. He sent his what? His angel. angel. Look at this thing. Those guys, when he said that those people, who did they send his angel to testify to? Unto you, these God. things in, in the churches. Now, you remember all the time that Revelation chapter 1, 2, and 3, where he didn't have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit yeah. was. Now, you see who it was that was preaching in the church, right? Uh -huh. Wasn't nothing but a an angel. angel. You better get this thing, son. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You better get it. Thank you, Father. I sent my angel. Hallelujah. He was the one that was testifying in chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. And to be honest with you, all the way, I can take him all the way back to Genesis. He was the one that did it. Read that again, 16, and then we're going to John 3. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. Now let's find this right quick. We've been here last night. We hit uh, John, uh, John chapter 2 script with all them a message last night. I don't know what she probing for, what she looking for. I'm going to show it to the day early. John chapter 5. We'll get this right quick. Hallelujah. Like she just couldn't wait. Yes. Like she's so happy. Like she's feeling with the Holy Ghost. Did you, hear, did you see over there a while ago just shaking and trying? I did. I did. We're going to make fun for after service. No. Pushing this table. All right. Are you moving in that table? Let's look at that. John 5 and 37. For those that only know, 
We covered this last night. One of the three that said, And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Uh -huh. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Now nobody has seen the Father. That's the one that sent Christ. At no time. Neither have you seen his shape. Have you seen it, heard his voice, not seen it. Flip back to John 1 and read verse 18. John 1 and 18. John 1 and 18. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. No man has seen God at another time. The only yeah. somebody you saw was the, but the only begotten Son of God. Yeah. Whom so many people call Jesus, who we know as Emmanuel, the Christ, the anointed one. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Yeah. He's the God that you dealt with all of this time. That's why, that's why, that's why he said that in Revelation, I am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. I'm the one that was here yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. And I'll be the one that in this thing. Thank you, Father. He's the God that you dealt with all, all of this time. Let's look at this in Ezekiel chapter 43. We're almost, we almost done. Just a few places. i got to get into that chapter 7. That's where I'm going to go. And, and we'll probably give it up after that. Thank you, Ezekiel 7. You know that wind that y'all was making a while ago? Yeah. Ezekiel, y'all, you see, you, you, see, you know, see uh, Sister Selena and Ella take thought they had a private revelation from God. Ezekiel saw that man some 4,000 years ago. They right there shouting, the Lord let his wind come by me. Woo. Woo. <laughs> you ain't the only one Ezekiel got that. I ain't gonna show it to you today, I'm gonna show it to you tomorrow. Both of said that wasn't nothing. I saw a bush that was burning in that bed burning up. Read the verse 5 again. 
So the Spirit took me up and brought me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house. Now listen at this thing. I'm going to show you something here. The glory of the Lord did what? Filled Whenever the, the Spirit come in, Hallelujah. you ain't got to worry about it being it, declared it could bother. Thank you, thank you, Father. I like it, thank you, Father. When the Spirit come in, what filled the house? The glory of the, the Lord. The glory of the Lord filled the house. Read that, sir. And I heard him speaking unto me I out of the house. Is, I heard who speaking to me? The Lord. The Lord. Huh? Spirit. The, the Lord. The spirit, the, there you go. I heard the Spirit speaking to me. Mm -hmm. This was the Lord speaking through by way of the. I'm going to show you that. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Read it again. I, I heard verse 6. And I heard him speaking unto me out of the house. And the man stood by me, and he said unto me, Son of man, the place of my throne, and the place of the soles of thy feet, now of my feet. This. Now this is what God is trying to be. Uh, he's trying to get right here where we at. Mm -hmm. Right where the sole of your feet sit. He's talking about where the glory is going to be, where he's going to be, where he's going to come. Read that. Where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel. Now God said, this is the place where the soul of your feet is standing, my yeah. Lord. He said, I'm going to dwell in the midst of the children of Israel for how long? Forever. Forever. Yeah. Forever, ever. Thank you, Father. And you tell me, you think I don't want to be there with him where he's going to be for you? Right he said, he, he didn't tell me I was going to him. He uh -huh. said, wherever the soul of my feet is standing in this earth. Yeah, in this earth. You get that vision. He saw a new heaven and a new earth. Coming down out of the heaven, down to the earth. And they go, he said, he's going to be forever where the soul of my feet are standing. Ezekiel was on the earth, sir. Read that. And my holy name shall the house of Israel no more defile. They ain't going to mess my name up no more, sir. Thank Read you. Neither they nor their kings. Not none not, not, not of these other uh, leaders these countries. By their boredom. Nor by the carcasses of the kings in their high places. Not even by their bodies. Mm. Mm. Let's look at this in Acts chapter 7. What time is it? Thank you, Father. What's it? Let me get into the Acts chapter 7. I'm going to give you up after that. Acts chapter 7. I want to show you something. So we're going to okay. pick this back up okay. on Acts chapter 7. I'm enjoying you all. Yes, we enjoy, we enjoy, we enjoy you all. Word. Let's look at this. Uh, just a few verses in here. Acts chapter 7. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to start in verse 20. Read verse 20, and then we'll skip down in verse 22. Acts chapter 7. Read that. In which time Moses was born and was exceeding fair and nourished up in the in his father's house three months. Now, Moses was born and he preferred to lick a child. To God, a good pleading to God in whatever way. Skip down to verse 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. All in the wisdom of who said it? The Egyptians. They say anything about Israel yet. Read on. And was mighty in words yeah. and in deeds. Uh -huh. Read on. And when he was full 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. He did that. Now skip down to verse 30. And when 40 years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire and in what, a bush. What, what appeared to Moses? An angel, angel of the Lord. It was an angel appeared to Moses. What was he at? In a, in a what set? In a flame of fire and a bush. In the burning bush. You all remember what Moses was right there. We're going to look back at this tomorrow. You remember that with Moses? Yes, sir. What was in the bush? A flame of fire. An angel. An angel in the appearance of a flame of fire. Read that again. And when 40 years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire in a bush. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him, what, saying, what, what came from him? What voice came from him? The voice of the I Lord. I thought it was an angel in the, fire, in, the in the appearance of fire in the burning bush. Fire burning with an angel there, but the voice of the Lord, Moses can do. Hallelujah. Remember what John said in Revelation 1. Remember what he said in 22. Remember what he said. He sent his angel to signify things that would come to pass to the servants of God. Thank you, Father. 
Moses got what he got by way of the angel. He was a smart man too. Read. Saying, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled, and durst not behold. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet. Now the Lord is talking directly through Moses by way of the angel. Read that. Then, the, then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, uh -huh. for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Yes, holy ground. I have, I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about how people do. God see the way the people treat you. He see those things. Why? What he got? He got the angels that going throughout the whole world. Thank you. He see what people do. I want to about me. I don't worry about none of that stuff. I'm not finna, you think I'm finna waste my time walking with some monkey that's beneath me? I'm not doing that. Come on now, yeah. Especially if they beneath me. No, I'm finna need them to do it. Hallelujah. No. Man, I rebuke you. If they keep on going, go get you, go get you something to eat, get you something to eat, or get you uh, something to drink, just keep on. Or they tell we like food anyway. Oh, we like food. Amen. What verse you Middle of 34. And I heard their and I have heard their groaning and and am come down to deliver them and and how did he come down? How, he heard that groaning. God and he said he came down. How did he do it? What is it now that us sinning and they sinning uh, before God? Uh, nothing but pain. He said an angel down. Yeah, come on. He had changed that to say. I'm going to show you this in Acts chapter two, what we read, and what come in and set up on each of them. When they heard that we had come in there, read, read, read verse 35. This Moses whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a, and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel. How did he do it by the hand of who? The angel. When he sent Moses, that's why this is that saying. It don't make no difference if they don't give you no paper at your church to make you missionary preacher or nothing. That's how God made himself his approval yeah. on you. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Get yeah. this, now. If the angel step God approval on you, you feel and you see him. The Bible said that you are sealed to the day of redemption. How? By his Holy Spirit. About this is how that thing comes. You think more than worried about not making it into the kingdom? In the first resurrection. And these stupid rock around here, oh, the mother of fallen angels, worried about where Moses, they bury Moses there. Uh -huh. His body is over here. <laughs> Trump says his body is over here. Look at that in June. Yeah. Teach all the time. Verse 35 says it here. This Moses whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? The oh, same. Right. When they heard it, when nobody respect your anointing. Uh -huh. Who made you rule over the fact? Yeah. Who made you over the crowd here? Yeah. Don't worry about it. If you know that you've been sealed by the to the Jerusalem, who put you over the family? Who made you just a woman? Don't worry about it. Don't say that to her. Don't fight against her. Don't do that. Just smile if you can. And I know some of you all that hated that when you was testified. Sometimes I just have to tell them a piece of my mind. Don't do it. Keep your little piece of your mind. <laughs> The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. He brought them out. After that, he had showed signs, wonders, and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. This is that. He brought them out when he showed all these signs. Who showed all these signs? He told you who was up. This was none other than Christ. Read that. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you Moses of your brethren. Moses prophesied about Christ way before he come. No wonder why John the Baptist understood this thing so easy. He had the Holy Ghost. Moses said a prophet God is going to raise up just like me among your brothers. Read this up. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, whom shall ye hear? 
This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel. This was who in the church with who said? In the, the angel. The angel, the Holy Spirit were there in the wilderness with lead and guiding. Christ was there at that time, Kim. Lead and guiding. I'm going to show you that. Read that. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel, which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. This was the law, saints. The angel was the one that come down with Christ and presented these things to Moses. When he turned around, that's who the back Moses saw was the back of Christ. And when the back of God, nobody seen God at any yes, time. God. Read that one verse here. 39. Read that. To whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them, and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt. God knows they would not obey. Verse 41. And they made a calf in those days, and offered sacrifice unto the idols. We know they wouldn't obey, because when Moses was up there on 40 days, Kiana, they made a calf. Yes, they did. Sacrifice the idols. Read verse 43. Well, read on through that right quick. And rejoice in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven. As the, in the host of the heaven. Host of heaven. These are stars. Man. What verse are you reading? That's that was 42. All right, come on now. I'm going to show you that. He's going to call them stars in verse 40. These are evil angels. God gave them up to that. Yes, he did. And what else? Yeah. You don't want to follow me. You don't want to keep my command. You don't want to okay. do whatever you want to do. But you better know this because I put it in record. Yeah. Whatever you eat, yeah. if you're not according to my dietary law, yeah. it's yeah. abomination to your own flesh. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Yeah. You have a free will. Free. Yeah. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. Mm -hmm. O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle you of took Moloch, the tabernacle of Moloch, read. and the star of your God. The Nathan. star of your God. That star is an angel. Mm -hmm. yes. The evil angels running around, and that's who's leading their mind and messing up their mind, according to Romans chapter 7. That's why Paul said, Oh, wretched man, that's right here. Who's going to deliver me? Who's going to deliver me? Somebody got to get this angel out of my mind. He is working the angel out of me. I had to go ahead and just sit there. Because it just wasn't going right. Stay the condition. Stay the condition. It is. It's rough. God in heaven knows it's true. We see it. What verse are we at, man? Uh, middle of 43. All right. What we at? That was supposed to be at? All right, skip down, skip down uh, verse 51. Ye stiff necked, stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart. Read it again so they hear you re reading and talking about the Lord talking to you, re read it again. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Why you say that about it, God? Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. You always resist the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Always. Sir. This ain't nothing new that the people are doing, rebelling and vexing the Spirit yes. of God. Yes. <laughs> you always did this. Thank you. Where did you get that from? As your fathers did, so did you. Read, man. Read it again. Which of the prophets have not of uh, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one. Now they're, they're, they're gonna mess up. This one to preach all the way over in Acts chapter. I mean Romans chapter 8. Look at verse 253. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels. Who received the law by what? The disposition yes, of like angels. It's angels that give the law. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about you going to nail it to the tree? Yeah. God said these angels ain't going to forgive you. Yeah. Yeah. We better check our preaching what we're doing. The angels gave this man. And then he called you step back and said, you always resisting the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. yeah. It was the angels that this. This spirit is not to you. Not him, Mr. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how my cousin Stephen acted. Read on. And have not kept it. <clears throat> and when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on oh, him man, with their they teeth. Got mad. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, they had to be the same color. You were old oh, weed. They said, oh, just grinding at you. Read on. But he, being full of the Holy now, this, Ghost. This was Stephen. He was full of what? The Holy oh, Spirit. Oh, what did he do? Looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Amen. Saw something, man. 
and said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. It's one thing to be able to see for Stephen. He did understand. Stephen was preaching and talking, telling the folks trying to get Rito. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. I see it, I see it. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Now flip back to Acts chapter 1. Read these two little verses. We thank God for you for those that do have a little thing. Get those two verses. I mean, you remember how everything, the law and everything else has been delivered by hand of the angel? Verse 1 and verse 2. Acts chapter 1. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he threw the Holy Ghost. He threw what, sir? The Holy oh, Ghost. What did he get? Had given commandments unto the apostles. Who gave the commandments to the apostles? The Holy, the Holy Spirit. And you don't want the commandments? And they gave them to the apostles? You trying to nail the commandments to the tree and to the cross? Hallelujah. Now, then the same one that holds the same Holy Spirit that gave it to Moses. Ain't nothing changed, sir. I want to show you something. We're going to do this morning. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to let you go after this morning. Ezekiel Genesis 21. Hey, God. Y'all remember her? Who was Hey, God? Who was Hey, God? Anybody remember? Who was she, Sarah? Sarah's handmaid. But not only was she Sarah's handmaid, she was a little something else to somebody else, too. Huh? Come on. Come on, man. Who was Sarah? The daughter of God. Uh, Sister Jim, you remember that song you were singing uh, last night that just popped up in your spirit? Go in on, don't do it. <laughs> that was the Holy Ghost, that was. Who, who was saved? Huh? Said, 
They may not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice. That's got to be pretty rough for any mother. You see that there's no money, no spirit of breath left in the child. You don't even want to see it. She took him over and put him on the bush on the tree, and she probably went her way and turned back. And just sit there just crying and weeping. Weeping and crying. She know what's going to come up on the side. Read. And God heard the voice of the lad. God heard who? The voice oh, of the lad. The lad was a little boy like me there. Hagar was the one that was weeping and crying. But God heard the voice of the lamb. Keep this in mind, sex. I'm going to show you something with it. God heard the voice of the lamb? Yes. And the angel of God called to Hagar. And God the heard the voice of the lamb. But who would it call to Hagar? The angel of God. Who sent the angel that quick? God heard the voice of the lamb crying. And immediately, God dispatched the angel. Hallelujah. The minister spirit. Yes. Immediately. Yes. He heard the voice. They got a cry. God didn't say he heard no voice. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the man. They never said the man was crying or whatever. But it said God heard his voice. And immediately our angel was sent to Hagar. Mm -hmm. Read that verse 17. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. He wouldn't let him die. Wouldn't let him die. Wouldn't let him die. These are the Arabians that you see in the world. Yeah. 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 I know people don't like to hear that term. Mm -hmm. But that's how Father Abraham's first child. Y'all remember last night, he wasn't a child. We are the children of the covenant. Right. Now, that, that, that guy I work for, he always greet me as my brother. He know who I am, and I know who he is. He let him know. He said, Abraham is my father. Yeah. I said, yeah, but Abraham. And I kicked with him like that. I said, yeah, but Abraham is my father. Now, I tell him, I'm the son of the covenant. Yeah, right. Yeah. He wants me like that. Yeah. Man, yeah. I tell you, I don't mess with it. It's just a few. You can't mess with all the time. I'm not going to be crazy. Oh, really <laughs> <laughs> he's, a good, he's a good brother. We thank God for you. You guys got several other scriptures on there. Look at them. I'm, I'm so excited about tomorrow. Hallelujah. You. you see the way this spirit. Now, if you keep with what we've talked about today, when we go into the last chapter 2 tomorrow, uh -huh. I'm going to deal with that a little bit, and then I'm going to show you what this thing fulfilled, what we're getting ready for, what this day, what tomorrow represents. Represents the year of Jubilee, the year that the Lord is going to return, and all is going to be in this first That's the rain. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Let me say this. Thank God for your, those of you all that's been drilling us. We pray and speak God's blessing into your life. I know that the word will be a blessing to you if you just receive it. Maybe some things that were heard that you don't understand or had even we read out your Bible, but you've never looked at it before. Go back. The Bible said in Acts that they received the word of God with all readiness of mind. But they went back to search the scriptures daily to see if what the person was teaching was, was so. I encourage you to go back and look at the scripture today. Just because you've been in that prayer. Because we're celebrating the Sabbath day. God declared, and I speak this into your life. I did 58 said that God will feed you with your hand to the table. And allow you to ride on the high places. I call, we call the Sabbath of your life. And because God will bless you, we speak blessing over to you. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom to each other. God bless you.